My name is Hong Xu, a principal investigator at Natural BI NIH. Our work not only uncovers a fundamental biology regarding mitochondrial DNA inheritance, but also could help us to develop a new strategy to managing mitochondrial disease and improve our well-being. Mitochondria are cellular engines that extract energy from food to power every single activity of our bodies. Every single cell containing hundreds to thousands of mitochondria. We know mitochondria is important, and we know this unique inheritance pattern, but we really don't know why evolution or life designed this way. We really want to understand how mother is able to pass on healthy mitochondria to her children. So we create fruit flies that have healthy mitochondria and unhealthy ones, and we want to track the behavior of different mitochondria in mother's body. Fruit flies is a great model because the basic rules of mitochondrial DNA inheritance is the same between flies and humans. And also fruit flies much easier to maintain and grow much faster. So we look at the egg in the mother's body. We found something truly remarkable. In the early stage of egg, all the mitochondria, they all connect to each other. During the egg development, mitochondria begins to separate from each other, then become a smaller unit. Basically, these separate healthy mitochondria from unhealthy ones. At the same time, mitochondria began to proliferate from thousands at this stage to millions at a mature egg. Because healthy mitochondria will produce much faster, they will all compete the unhealthy one in the mature egg. If we can encourage mitochondria replication or proliferation in somatic tissue, we might be able to suppress the accumulation of defective mitochondria. At NIH, we are encouraged to take on the risk project. Doing a research for years, eventually get a breakthrough. It's just like standing on top of the mountain. There's nothing like that. <laughs>